this example, we are going to solve the initial value problem with the differential equation y prime plus y equals f of t and the initial condition y at zero equals five. The function f of t is defined to be zero for t greater than or equal to zero and less than pi, and defined to be three times cosine t for t greater than or equal to pi. So pi is the point of the translation or a equals pi for this problem. We're gonna rewrite the f of t in terms of the unit step function, which becomes the three times cosine t multiplied by the unit step function, t minus pi. And then the first step of solving the differential equation using the Laplace transform is to apply the Laplace operator to all terms. Note that the Laplace transform of the solution y is the capital Y. Laplace transform of the y prime is s multiplied by the capital Y minus s to the power zero <clears throat> times the initial conditions y at zero. And in this problem, the initial condition is five. Now we have the Laplace transform of the y prime in the form of s multiplied by the capital Y minus five. And next, we are going to find the Laplace transform of the function f of t. Since 3 is the constant multiple, we treat 3 as a coefficient. So the Laplace transform of the f of t is 3 multiplied by the Laplace transform of the cosine t multiplied by the unit step function t minus pi. And then apply the second translation theorem in the form of the Laplace of the gt multiplied by the unit step function t minus a will give us the Laplace of the g of t plus a multiplied by e to the negative a t. We call a equals pi for this one. And in our case, the g of t equals cosine t. So then g of t plus a, which is t plus pi, is the cosine of t plus pi. With the cosine of the sum formula, the cosine of t plus pi is cosine t times cosine pi minus psi t times psi pi. The psi at pi is zero, the cosine at pi is negative one. Therefore, the function g of t plus pi becomes negative cosine t. Then we have three multiplied by the Laplace transform of negative cosine t multiplied by e to the negative a t. And then factor the negative one out or treat negative one as a coefficient comes out together with the number three, it becomes negative three multiplied by the Laplace transform of the cosine t multiplied by e to the negative a t from the <clears throat> theorem in 7.1, the Laplace of the cosine t is s divided by s squared plus k squared. In this case, k equals one. So then it becomes s divided by s squared plus one, and then multiplied by e to the negative a t. And this is the Laplace of the function f t. Now we're gonna put them together as we apply the Laplace transform to, en to the entire differential equation. The differential equation in the form of the y prime plus y equals the function f of t, apply the Laplace transform, to each term. And use the terms that we obtained from the earlier part. The Laplace of y prime is s multiplied by the capital Y minus five plus the Laplace of the y, which is the capital Y equals the Laplace of the function f of t is negative three multiplied by s over s squared plus one multiply by e to the negative a t and a is pi. So just rewrite a as a pi. Next, we are going to solve for y or the capital Y. 
s plus 1 as a coefficient of the capital Y equals negative 3 multiplied by s divided by s squared plus 1 multiplied by e to the negative pi t plus 5 divide all terms by s plus 1 then we get the capital Y equals negative 3 multiplied by s divided by the quantity s plus 1 times the quantity s squared plus 1 times e to the negative pi t plus 5 divided by s plus 1. We call the capital Y is the Laplace transform of the lowercase y, which is the solution. Now we are going to apply the inverse Laplace transform to all terms to solve for y or the solution of this differential equation. So y equals the inverse Laplace transform of the terms on the right-hand side. The negative 3 is a coefficient. So negative 3, the inverse Laplace transform of the s divided by s plus 1 times s squared plus 1 times e to the negative pi t plus 5 times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 1. From the theorem in section 7.1, the last inverse Laplace transform will give us 5 multiplied by e to the negative 1t from the formula 1 over s minus a becomes e to the power a t. In this case, a is negative 1. The last term is done. Now we're going to work on the first inverse Laplace transform. And this one, we're going to use the second translation um, theorem again. So this in the form of the inverse Laplace transform of the function f of s multiplied by e to the negative a t. It will give us as the function f of the t minus a multiplied by the unit step function t minus a. <clears throat> Work on the side notes. For this case, the f of s is s divided by s plus 1 multiplied by s squared plus 1. The f of s is the Laplace transform of the function f of t. That means the f of t is the inverse Laplace of s over s plus 1 multiplied by s squared plus 1. We are going to rewrite the expression into the um, partial fraction forms. So since it's divided by s plus 1, which is the linear, and s squared plus 1 is a quadratic, and both of them are irreducible. So the first partial fraction will be the quantity a divided by s plus 1. And the second fraction, since the denominator is s squared plus 1, the numerator is going to be the linear form, which is b times s plus c. We're going to find the value a, b, and c. <clears throat> by the technique of undetermined coefficient. That means the numerator s of the original expression is the same as a multiplied by s squared plus 1 plus the quantity b s plus c multiplied by s plus 1. Use the appropriate number. For example, if s equals negative 1, the left hand side is negative 1 equals 2 times a, or a equals negative 1 over 2. Let's set it aside. a is negative 1 over 2. Next, pick another number. Pick any number that is easier to compute. In this case, I pick s equals 0. If s equals 0, we're going to replace all s with a 0. The left hand side becomes 0. The right hand side, the first term is a. And the second term becomes the C. Since A is negative 1 half, for the second round, we have C equals negative A. Then C equals positive 1 half. One more computation. Since we have the three unknowns, A, B, and C, we're going to work on three rounds of finding the 
numbers A, B, and C by picking three, num three different numbers. So next number, I'm going to choose S equals positive 1. It's easy to compute. The left-hand side is 1. The right-hand side is 2A plus the quantity B plus C multiplied by 2. Or 1 equals 2 times A. A is negative 1 half. So the first term becomes uh, negative 1 plus 2 times B plus 2 times C, which is the value 1. 1 and negative 1 cancel. Then we get B equals positive 1 half. <coughs> now back to the inverse Laplace transform of the function f of t. And f of t is the inverse Laplace transform of 1 half multiplied by 1 over s plus 1. And the next one, the next term, since both a, b and c have the same coefficient, so we write it as 1 half multiplied by s divided by s squared plus 1, and then split into another a fraction. So basically, we write it in three separate fractions. And the second, the second one becomes 1 half times s over s squared plus 1. And the last, since c is 1 half, so it can be 1 half multiplied by 1 over s squared plus 1. Use the theorems in 7.1. The first term will give us 1 half this is negative, sorry. The negative 1 half times e to the negative 1 times t. The second term, we will get 1 half multiplied by the cosine of the kt, and k is 1. So we have cosine of the t, similar to the third term. And the third term will give us the sine function. We have 1 half multiplied by sine of t. So this is the function f of t. And we write it in the Simplified form, factor out one half, then we get negative e to the negative t plus cos t plus psi t <clears throat> as a function f t. Back to the problem before we get lost, we're going to need the function at t minus a. So we're going to use a translation from t to t minus a, which is t minus pi. Then the f of t minus pi is 1 half multiplied by negative e to the negative t minus pi plus the cosine of t minus pi plus psi of t minus pi. And again, use the trick formula to simplify the cosine of t minus pi. The formula of the cosine of the difference is the cosine t times cosine pi plus psi t times psi pi. The psi at pi is 0, cosine at pi is negative 1, then cosine of t minus pi is negative cosine t. And then treat the same way for the psi of t minus pi. Simplify it by using the psi of the difference formula, which is psi of t multiplied by cosine of pi minus cosine of t times sine of pi. Again, sine of pi is 0, cosine of pi is negative 1, then sine of t minus pi is negative sine t. Simplify the function f of t minus pi to get 1 half multiplied by negative e to the negative t plus pi minus cosine t minus sine t or negative 1 half multiplied by e to the negative t plus pi minus cos t minus psi t as the function f of t minus pi. Now, back to the Laplace transform that we have to replace in terms of the solution y, which is I'm going to copy it again. So y equals negative 3 times the function of t minus pi multiplied by the unit step function t minus pi and sub, um, added by 5 times e to the negative t from the first inverse Laplace transform. And then 
since we obtain the f of the t minus pi in the terms of the exponential and the sine cosine, we place it into the solution y to get negative 3 multiplied by negative 1 half, so now becomes positive 3 over 2 multiplied by e to the negative t plus pi minus this become plus psi plus psi, sorry, plus plus cosine of t plus psi of t multiplied by the unit step function t minus pi and then plus pi e to the negative t as the solution. This form is in the unit step function form. But if we are going to write it as the piecewise defined function, we can do it by arranging the term a little bit. So I'm going to rewrite 5e to the negative t in the front and then add it by 3 over 2 times e to the negative t plus pi plus cosine of t plus psi of t times the unit step function t minus pi. The 5, minus, uh, 5 times e to the negative pi cannot be alone, so we can treat it as adding by, uh, not adding, sorry, let me subtract with 5e to the negative t times the unit step function t minus pi, and then add by the same quantity. So the first two pieces will give the function 5 or the piece by divide function as 5e to the negative t, and the second function will be divided as 0 for the t greater than or equal to 0, less than pi, and to divide to be 0 for t is greater than or equal to pi. And then the last two pieces, that will give us the piece by divide function as the first one divided to be 0, and the second one divided to be 5e to the negative t plus 3 over 2 times e to the negative t plus pi plus cosine t plus psi t. And t is defined the same way as the first piece by divide function. So with this way, we can see the solution y in the piecewise divide function form as 5e to the negative t as t divide from greater than or equal to 0, less than pi. And for t that is greater than or equal to pi, the function solution function will be defined as 5e to the negative t plus 3 over 2 multiplied by e to the negative t plus pi plus the cosine t plus psi t 